I had an extremely moving experience yesterday in a class I was taking towards the end. I had to give a testimonial to somebody in my class. It was spontaneous, impromptu, extempore, on the spot, but I had to do it as a demo. And I made that person who's been around in my team for long stand in front of me. I hadn't practiced, the other person didn't know uh, what I was about to say and I had to say for 60 seconds all the good things I feel and know and have observed about that person. And I went on and on. It exceeded 60 minutes, 60 seconds. And I wish you were there to see it because that person stood there and it's COVID time. He was wearing a mask and I could only see the eyes. And I can guarantee, had I continued two seconds longer, uh, there would have been a flow of tears from those eyes. I can guarantee that uh, uh, if it wasn't the responsibility of being there in a group and holding back his tears, you know, a man never cries, uh, there would have been a flow of tears because I could feel the energy of that person. It was almost like the thawing of an iceberg, a glacier, okay? And I could see the melting. And it struck me like lightning that, gosh, whoo, what a truth I have struck today. And that truth is that everybody, everybody, without exception, is yearning, is nourished, and is deserving of appreciation. And the opposite is the reality. The way the education system and almost ignorant parents and the society is working and our thought process where our thoughts are generally always on the negative, the pessimistic, Appreciation has become rare. People have stopped listening to anything good about themselves. And guess what? When it doesn't come from outside, for a lot of people, a lot of time, people stop thinking that there is anything good in or about them. They lose that touch and there's a massive drop in self-esteem and then starts that major disease which is number one of my observation about pain points of people which is self-limiting beliefs and then a huge no sets in and people become pessimistic, negative, stubborn, irritable, argumentative. So I'm sharing all this with you because it's so fresh. I can't get out of my mind that one sight for 60 seconds where, you know, eyes are the mirror of the soul, where the soul of this person I said those things for 60 seconds plus had just become water. It is beautiful. And my message to you today is please appreciate as much as you can others and appreciate yourself if others aren't doing it. Or then, once a week, form a get-together and collect five people, have a cup of tea and let all five say good things to each other and go back into the world rejuvenated with this tonic, this strong, eternal, powerful, wonderful tonic called appreciation. Appreciate. You deserve it.